received a call about a small plane that had crashed into a house here on Walnut Street. And uh, the officers responded, uh, Highway Patrol, Sheriff's Office, and the Helen Police Department and the Fire Department, and also the Airport Fire Department. Uh, we do have a small plane that did crash into a house here. It also hit a power pole and a tree. Uh, there were two occupants in the plane. One is 78, one is 75. They've both been taken to St. Peter's Hospital. I can't come in condition at this time. What, what's the tail number of the plane? Uh, yeah, I couldn't release that. So does the neighborhood have power if they, if they hit a power? Uh, the neighborhood has power. The house does not at this time, but as you can see, the power company is trying to restore power to the house. Were there any people in the house? Uh, you know, I can't comment on that at this time. The owner of the house is here. But demographics of the individuals in the park? Uh, one is 78, one is 75, they're both males. What's the cause of the crash? You know, I don't know that much. Why the FAA is coming down here. So it looks like a, it looks like Western Energy's role. Well, the uh, power pole in the back was hit along with the power line to the power out to the house. So they're trying to restore power. Also make sure it's safe to do so there with the plane still on the ground. The fire department's still assessing what fuel is there and what they need to remove as far as fuel to make sure it's safe. As far as neighbors, are they, you know, have they been removed from the area as well as the people in the house? Well, the person in the house has been not been allowed back in. She is over there, and, uh, but the other neighbors are in their homes. And is the house in still in workable condition? I mean, well, that I don't know. I mean, somebody will determine that, uh, you know, the damage is to one side of the house there. And uh, once we get things cleared up, then, fire department deems it safe to uh, go near the uh, crash site, you know, we'll be moving this tape back further and you guys can sure come over and, and take some photos on the sidewalk. Do you know the intended uh, destination for this point? I don't. Was the airport, airport officials on the scene? Yeah, so uh, we had doing? airport officials up here, yes. For what? Uh, just to, to help us determine the plane, who the passengers were, some of that. Do you know if there's any like gas leaks from the house, like a, a gas meter or anything? Uh, I don't believe so. Was there a fire? No, no fire. There's leaking fuel, but there's no fire. How long have you been in the department? Decades. Decades. Have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, I've been with the department over 39 and a half years, and in that time, I have not encountered a plane that's crashed into a house, no. When you got the call this afternoon, oh, I'm sorry. When you got the call this afternoon, say it doesn't happen, what was your thought? Oh, just hopefully that nobody was killed and there was no fire and that, you know, it wasn't real serious like that. But, uh, that was my main concern. I mean, something like this, you can have quite a fire in just a few minutes. Or, like you had asked me earlier, you can have quite a